Hi folks, I'm Ryan Shanahan and welcome back to Rexport Education. Today I'd like to introduce you to my new friend, the Theracane. Now it's 2020 and I've been finding reviews from this from back in 2014. So why am I reviewing it now? Quite simply because I only recently found out about, um, it was given to me as a gift and I accepted it with the usual platitudes in gratitude and I thought, uh, well, this is a kind of an odd thing and I don't think that I'm going to get much use out of it, but I appreciate the thoughtfulness in giving me the gift. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> this is an excellent tool and I'm going to tell you why in this episode. Now, I'm assuming because this is something that I only recently found out about, there are probably a great number of you who have also never heard of this too. There are so many different kinds of massage tools and muscle relaxing tools out there. And, and I would say that uh, many of the good ones tend to take a back seat to the uh, more sexy ones, the ones uh, that look uh, more exciting, like these electric massagers. Now, this is uh, useful for some things, uh, but here's my criticism of this. This isn't probably a very good option for um, chronic muscle pain, uh, knots in your back, in the upper trapezius, the lateral trapezius head that goes across the shoulder, uh, down the middle of the back, uh, between the shoulder blades where you get into the rhomboid. Because what this is going to do is going to repetitively pound on that muscle. It's going to cause more trauma to that muscle. You wind up the next day more sore than ever, bruising sometimes occurs, um, you might find, gosh, I don't know if that was worth it. Well, you might think about trusting those instincts. Now, like I said, this probably has its use. It's just probably not a good idea to use on chronic muscle pain. Honestly, the best thing for those kinds of conditions is usually massage and acupressure, but many of us can't afford to go to a masseuse every week or you know every other day as might be more appropriate to deal with these kinds of muscle issues. By the way, I've done a number of episodes on these types of conditions, chronic pain, muscle issues, and uh, injuries. And you can find all of those in my kinesiology series on this channel. I hope you check those out. Uh, some pretty useful stuff there. Shameless self-promotion aside, let's talk a little bit more about why this is more useful. If you're going to be able to get some quality massage um, and you want to do it at home, you might think about using something like this, which are really common. You can find these types of things uh, that are used for all different parts of your body um, in plenty. Um, but a lot of these you can't use yourself effectively. For instance, I'm not going to get my back effectively with something like this and I can't rely on somebody else all the time to help me with my uh, muscle conditions and my needs. And that's really where something like this comes in, the Theracane. There are a variety of types of this, and I've seen them range these days um, anywhere from $10 to $50. And um, that's uh, because there are different companies that are manufacturing them and uh, different quality of materials being used. I got this for about $20 and it's a legitimate Theracane. So you can, you can expect to spend about $20 at least, which I think is extremely reasonable. How does it work? You've got a bunch of knobs that you can use in different ways. I like to use these small ones on the interior of the loop uh, for places like uh, uh, at the uh, top head of the trapezius, um, at the base of the skull, the occipital, and I would put this right underneath that spot where those muscle attachments are and you can drive that up in there and work out those, uh, those uh, spots. Now I can kind of rotate this around and move around to dig in and, and get those, uh, those spots. I can even drag it and this is, uh, this is quite comfortable. There, this isn't painful. This is low impact. I'm only putting the pressure that I need, but this helps me get in there. And because uh, the length of, of the device is such that uh, it allows me to utilize my arms without engaging the same muscles that I'm trying to work. So for example, a lot of these muscles in your shoulders and, and back and upper neck 
are stabilization muscles for your arm. So when you try to massage yourself, say with something like this, or even just with your own arm, I'm digging in here, but I'm having to crank my arm in a position that's not very comfortable. I'm, I'm uh, putting more pressure on the muscles back here, and this is pulling my spine in a different way. And uh, it, it's gonna end up causing me to fatigue more. I'm probably going to not find myself very relaxed. And the benefit that I get in working that muscle is probably uh, mitigated by the effects that I am drawing on myself on the other side. But not so with this. I can, uh, I can do something like this very casually and, and not even use much pressure. I can use just a couple of fingers and I'm getting plenty of pressure there for my upper neck. Additionally, the longer pulls on the outside of the curve I can use on uh, other parts of my body. Um, I can use the hook to help get into the deltoid more so and into those rotator cuff muscles like right on the upper part of the scapula and between the collarbone. I can uh, use the hook to get around here and dig into those uh, muscle attachments at the shoulder blade. I'm trying to uh, exaggerate my shoulder blade so you can see that better. But I can uh, get into those muscle attachment points between the shoulder blade, which are your rhomboids. Classic place for chronic knots and fit muscle fatigue, and these can lead to headaches. And pulling your spinal, and pulling your spine out of alignment. Um, I can use this on the trapezius, and I can go up and down the the back like so. And this is very easy to do. I'm actually using a whole lot less energy than you would think. This is actually very comfortable to do, and I don't feel like I'm fatiguing myself uh, by, by doing this. And that's a good spot right there. Oh, yeah. You see, I've actually needed this for some time. I've had a, a lot of uh, problems with my back because uh, one of the things that happened, at least for my case, is um, I was really into working out. I know I don't look like it, I'm such a slender guy, but that's just always been the case uh, for me. But uh, despite that, I did a lot of, of exercise and I always have, I've always been very active. As uh, you can see from the rest of this channel, I do a lot of different kinds of, of things. Um, I've got my fencing program, I've got my ballroom dance program, I've got my kinesiology program. I've got my Tai Chi and my martial arts in Taekwondo and Jiu Jitsu. And I've been doing these all for years. I'm also in the military, I'm in the National Guard. And so um, I've had to do a lot of exercise just and, and uh, keep up on those fit fitness requirements. And uh, when I was younger, um, I wanted to develop my push-ups. And so I was doing um, at least 100 push-ups every day. And I did this uh, for, um, for quite some time. And what I ended up doing is destroying the muscles in my back, the stabilization muscles. They just couldn't handle so much strain. I didn't realize what I was doing to myself at the time. Uh, Over-exercising can be detrimental. And I was uh, young and didn't understand that at the time. Um, I thought my body would recover. And you know what? I still feel like I deal with some of those things today. But additionally, um, we all have conditions that we develop from chronic activities, like uh, sitting at a computer for, or at a desk for long periods of time, uh, I'm talking years, at the same job, doing the same task, getting hunched over, getting that kyphosis by bringing the shoulders forward, um, restraining your, re restricting your breathing, um, causing the lavatory scapulae, these, um, uh, the stabilization muscles that run from the scapula up the neck to the occipital bone, the base of the skull, causing chronic headaches and chronic muscle fatigue. These are common problems that so many of us face and we end up uh, resolving it using uh, self-medication like uh, large doses of ibuprofen, aspirin, and uh, Tylenol. And occasionally we may get a massage. Maybe you have somebody who's willing to do that for you or you uh, treat yourself to a massage every now and then, uh, which is good. We need to support that industry, uh, but that's not, so, not something that many of us can afford to do regularly. It's uh, upwards of 80 to $100 or more to get a proper massage, uh, but it has to be consistent. It has to be regular. So um, I've put myself on a regiment of doing this 
just about every day. And here's another position I really like for, my, for myself between the shoulder blades. I can just wrap this around and I'm using this uh, extra handle here at the end to simply put a little pressure right back there underneath the shoulder blade. And I can run that down or I can find a spot where it really needs it and just let it rest. And I can put pressure right here. Oh, yeah. And that digs in really nicely. Um, and you can just keep that pressure there and allow that muscle to work itself out and eventually it will relax. And after time, you, you maybe do this for a month or so, you should start to see these muscles actually um, resolve the pain issue and the chronic pain should dissipate and eventually go away entirely. This is true for so many muscle groups. Now, of course, this isn't meant to diagnose any conditions you may have. There could be underlying conditions you have that are unrelated to dealing with those muscle problems, chronic muscle fatigue and muscle pain. Um, so you should consult a doctor, of course, every time uh, you take up a new regiment, uh, which I am not. So keep that in, in mind. This is just a review for your entertainment and benefits and showing you my experience with it. But I really do like this product and I think it's reasonably priced and uh, reasonably available. You can uh, shop for it in many different online shops. And of course, it's available on Amazon and uh, you can go to the website for uh, Theracane as well. You can also buy it secondhand pretty easily. I think it's available on eBay and the like. But anyway, that's all about all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like and subscribe if you would like to support the channel. And take a look at the other content. And uh, let me know what your experience has been. I would love to hear about that. And uh, of course, check out the other episodes I have on this channel. I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, I hope you have happy holidays and a wonderful new year. Till next time.